the last of the four stick smash shots. This time, back to the round the head side, and we're learning the cross court stick smash. So for me being right-handed, I'm gonna be hitting from the left side of my court across onto the left side of my opponent's court. Now you'll recall from last session that when it comes to the round the head side for hitting the stick smash, it's crucial that you're aware of your positioning and making sure to open up as much as you can in order to come around that shot that might be reaching around on the left side of your head. If you don't have time to open up and get right underneath it, then as we learned in the last session, you can use the straight stance. But for now, let's break down the difference between the straight stick smash on this side and what's gonna help us hit cross court. So for the straight stick smash from the round the head side, we'll recall that we need to come through with a high contact point up over pronate, pronating the forearm and whipping the wrist over top and getting that bounce back. By now, you must be the experts with all these shadow swing assignments that I've been giving you. You must be experts in the whip back, making sure you get that double whip sound. Now notice for the straight, I'm pulling the racket back directly up, not just backwards, but I'm following that line and pulling the racket head up. That's gonna put the whip and speed into the shot and send it downwards as opposed to only flat and over. Because I want to hit that stick smash as steep as I can. Now to hit it cross court, it means an adjustment of both my contact point and my steering wheel follow through. So we know the racket head is like our steering wheel of the car. If I turn the racket head across the court for my point of contact, open up the head, hit this way, then the shot is going to fly cross court. But the contact point needs to be a little bit over onto my left side. So I need to extend, and this is one of the hardest moves, this is something that Li Chung Wei is just the master at, being able to get that flexibility in the back and the chest area to extend beyond the contact point that we would normally hit for straight and be able to then extend beyond that contact point to come from the side onto the shuttle to send that shot cross court and back up. Let's see some in action. I love the stick smash cross court from the round the head side. It's one of my all time favorite offensive shots. And it helped me win one of my biggest titles, the US Open, when I was playing an opponent who was really struggling to twist down to her backhand side at the net. It gave me the angle and the reply shots to follow up for the knockout. I must have hit it over 25 times in that match. So the difference, again, between hitting the straight stick smash and the cross court stick smash is all about the contact point and the follow through whip back. If I'm going straight, I keep it in a line. If I'm going cross court, then I'm gonna come over more, reach, and then come back on the same line that I'm hitting cross court away from the shot. So if I'm hitting straight, straight back. If I'm hitting cross court, now I open up, reach, and follow through back in the cross court direction. Notice my stomach moving, 
with the shot. This can be one of the most effective shots to play off of a low trajectory lift, but it's also one of the most difficult. We're gonna be using the straight stance to try and execute the shot cross court from the round the head side off of a low trajectory. We use that straight stance because we don't have time to get underneath it and use one of the other three stances. The three being keeping both feet on the ground, or the one foot jump, and lastly, the two foot jump. So we don't have time to use any of those three, which is why we need to use the straight stance, whereby our racket has to come back very quickly to prepare and get on the outside of the shot so we can come back. And just using our core and upper body twist position, that's how we get the whip back. We don't have time to turn our entire body and our feet, so we can only use the twisting from the back and the core, following up with the whip back. Let's see some in action. Awesome focus today. Now it's time for the assignment. Now you might be thinking this is repetitive because it's the same assignment that we had for the other three stick smashes, but it's really important that we build a solid foundation on the stick smash before we progress and before we try and implement it into the game. Repetition is really important for the basics, especially when trying something new or different than we're used to doing. So again, the three assignments, the first one being the shadow swinging. I want you to be standing, if you can, on the court. If you can't be on a court, be at home or be in your fitness center. Thinking about how you're gonna hit this cross court shot, stick smash. Thinking about from a high trajectory with all three different feet positions. Both feet down, one leg, and from the two leg, for those people feeling they can physically handle that, as well as imagining from a flatter trajectory doing the straight stance where we don't have time to turn and we're just twisting the upper body as much as we can, arching the back back, and then hitting. I want 10 swings, 10 sets of those. Mix it up now also, if you're feeling really confident with this shot, blend it in with the straight. So you can feel the difference hitting the straight stick and the cross stick. Straight, cross. Assignment number two, with your training buddy, they're gonna be serving you a mix of high and flat trajectory shots for you to combine with the various feet positions for the cross court stick smash especially if your training partner is also studying this course. Make sure that you help each other out. If there's something that you notice that they're not doing, then point it out and be each other's helper. That's what training partner is about. So even if you're gonna go and play a game against each other after, you're still there to train together and help each other improve to become the best players you can be. Because as, if my training partner improves, that means I'm gonna improve as well. So help each other out in that way. The third assignment is to insert this shot into a game scenario. It doesn't have to be many times. I just want to know that you have the courage and the technical confidence to try to insert this shot into a game scenario. So whether that's singles, doubles, or mixed doubles, this is a great shot to use for mixed doubles both for guys and the girls at the back because cross court is gonna target the female player on the other side. For the guy player, it's a great way to get angle and set up the net reply. And for the girl player, it's a great way to put pressure on the female player on the other side of the shot. So whether you're a singles or doubles or mixed, 
or all three, the shot is awesome and very valuable for helping to set up the knockout. So until next time, remember, step your game up. <laughs>